mainline replacement in Washington, D.C. We have a mainline for this basement that needs to be exposed and replaced, maybe even in some places rerouted. This is how it'll go. We start right here in this cast iron area. We need to replace this entire vent as it goes into the ground. Now, mind you, there is a Y that right at the connection itself is encased in concrete. We need to find a way to core drill through there as much as possible in order to catch the next pipe to connect to with a, with a uh, Franco coupling. Once we have that exposed, hopefully we can do it without having to dig on the other side. We go down and jackhammer and follow the route of the existing sewer line as it comes down. And then we pick up a Y, which is right over there somewhere. This floor drain is going to Y into this line, and then it makes a right at a 90 degree turn. Once it makes a right, it's going to continue straight down. As it continues straight down, it's going to pick up the laundry, along with, as you can see, a 3 inch stack there. There's going to be possibly a 2 inch stack. Who knows how they tie in behind that wall? But it's going to pick it up in this area. We have to pick it up. Continue. Where it's going to pick up a bathroom group right there that is actually a shower even though it looks like a mop sink toilet sink now that sink train is going into the wall above ground who knows how it connects to the main line but we have to reconnect the bathroom group right here and then continue as it goes up to the wall now the outside water line was replaced sewer and water may be in line with each other but it is not guaranteed at this time once we get to the wall we have to install a clean out right here I would prefer a two-way clean out if we, can get, if we can get that to pass. If not, just a one-way going out and put it down in a brass cover, perfectly flat with the ground. There will also be another clean out on the vent over there, preferably at about shin height with a Y instead of a T. Um, and then from there, we would actually have to check what is the conditions of the rest of the sewer line, see if it needs to be lined or leave it alone. Now, on a side note, when we pick up these connecting lines, like per se the bathroom group, and the laundry group, we have to inspect the sewer line from the connection upstream and see what kind of conditions it is. This group is not a big concern for the homeowner, but the laundry group right here, which also picks up everything from above, its underground branch line is a concern. So it wants us to take a look at it, and if it looks like it's a good shape, leave it alone. If not, make a recommendation for a liner. Now this project is going to be inspected, so it's going to be a two to four day project about one to two days to do the installation then of course meeting the inspector at his desired time and then about one to two days for backfilling concrete this is about a total of 50 feet maybe even 55 linear feet worth of replacement not deeper than two feet deep all concrete gets hauled away that's what we got